אבי נא מלך סייטי הוא אני אהב to stay away from מושב לצים Don't be those who sit in a market on the streets and play שש או קארדס או דומינו או צ'ס או נושן פארקווי That's called יושבי קרנות Losers that sit on the street like bums and do nothing And the Gemara say, יושב בטל כמת דמי Seating, doing nothing, count like you are dead. It's doing nothing means you don't commit a sin. What does it mean sitting, doing nothing? Not that you sit and watch a movie and every second is a sin the oraita. No. Or you, or you sit over there and thinking about Avodah Zarah. No. Sit and do nothing. <laughs> Looking at the wall, dreaming. For 20 minutes you sit like this, drinking your tea, doing nothing. No learning, no book, no gemara, no tehili, nothing. That 20 minutes count like you didn't live. Yoshev batel, kemet dami. Yoshev batel meaning sitting, doing nothing, count like you dead. Kemet dami, similar to a die, dead person. Dead person cannot do anything productive. Sitting, doing nothing, or snoring all day in bed, or laying on the beach, what do you do? I'm getting a tan. <laughs> Why a religious yeshiva boy has to lay on the beach? Baba, it's kosher beach. Sunday, a Monday, Wednesday, and, and Friday, it's only men. Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, it's women. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's all religious people. No beseder, religious people. If you tell me you want to go to swim, you want to run a little bit, to do some exercise, maybe you lose some weight, too much kugel and chulent, you want to burn it a little bit, okay. Rambam say, you need a healthy body. But what does it mean to lay on the beach and get a tan? That you're going to become dark? You'll be red like a tomato? What's the purpose of people that wants to get tan? To be pretty. Yeah. Why would a man wants to be pretty? I'll give you one guess. Usually I don't see in the beach some chassi try to get a 10. What are you doing here, Mendel? I'm getting a 10. What does he need a 10? Anyway, he has a beard. Who's going to see his 10? Who's, who's laying there to get a 10? Someone that his head is empty. Rav Ovadia Yosef would lay on the beach to get a 10? No people in the beach. Private beach. Who would lay on the beach to get a 10? I saw even better than that. I saw some Modaks in the winter laying in his backyard with a special silver thing. So what is he doing? What is he doing? Apparently the sun in the winter is not so strong. But with that device, whatever he had there, it hit it, reflects on his face. The man was seven years old. Modaks. Getting a ten. Why would a seven years old religious man wants to get a ten? Something in his box broke. You're laughing, huh? Until I spoke about it, none of you saw anything wrong with all these things. All of a sudden, all of you confirm. You see what's going on with a human being? Really, when you pointed to him, he realized. But the question is why he could not think about it on his own? for 20 years. Yeah, you're right. How come I never thought about it? I remember when I was in Miami, Ba'avonotai Arabim, I went to give some lectures there, I don't know, 15 years ago. They took me to a house of some fancy schmancy guy. And uh, I gave a lecture, they brought a lot of people there. And I spoke about the horrible habit of going to the beach with their wives. Bathing suit in front of all the people, men there, mixed beach. I speak. Then I say, I don't understand how a husband will walk with his wife to a beach full of goyim. Even no goyim, secular Jews. They all walk there, everyone is naked, and people look at his wife from morning to night and he doesn't drop dead. It's children there, everyone looks at their mother, and these people have lost their mind. They're not normal. So what did he say to me? But everyone does it, Rabbi. We don't look at it the way you look. 
Phoenix, since everyone is doing it, there's no big deal. What I answer to this guy, I'm sure he will never forget until the last breath of his life. I said to him, let me ask you a question. This was a Moroccan guy. So Moroccans, Baruch Hashem, they're very passionate people. Full of fire and warmth. The last thing you want is to get Moroccan angry because of his wife. That's already a nuclear bomb. You know the joke that one Moroccan said to his wife, I'm going to shoot Friday night. They don't have air conditioning in the old days, so they had a fan. So the fan either can pose in one position or can, can go left and right. So the guy said to his wife, hey Jacqueline, be very careful, do not press the button. I want the fan only on my seat. And I come back from shul, it will be hot. I want the wind to come to my face. If you press the button and go left and right, I'll be too hot. Make sure you don't press. Now she also wants some fan. Once he left, she clicked on the button. When he came back, he saw the fan is going, he went crazy, started to scream. I told you not to move the fan. I didn't touch the fan. So how is it moving? I don't know, from the minute you left, he's searching for you. Baruch <laughs> Hashem, she survived. Anyway. Got hot here, Benji. No, we don't have fan here. So wait. So I said to the guy, let's imagine that you now have a birthday party. And your wife wanted to make you a surprise party. So she invited your father, your brothers, the wives, the family, neighbors, friends, colleagues from work. The house is full of 300 people. And your wife come out of the bathing, out of the bedroom, with a bikini and high heels, and a birthday cake. Happy birthday to Moshe! She comes like this with her bathing suit, with her high heels, and a cake with candles. Moshe, make a fool. Put the candle off. And all 300 people are looking at your wife in your living room with a bathing suit. What would you do? <laughs> I saw smoke coming out of his ears just from describing the scenario. He said, I would grab her in front of everyone with a cake and make her fly from the window. I say, your, f your, your ears should listen to your foolish mouth. You just brag that when you see it across the street right here on the beach downstairs in Collins Avenue by the beach with your wife in front of 10,000 monsters who walk all day like radars to look it didn't bother you at all so what's the problem if your wife will be with a bathing suit in front of 300 people as opposed to 3,000 people or 30,000 people? It's less than there. Yeah, you're right. We just never thought of it. He could never figure it out on his own until I had to break it up to him. Now, usually back then I used to be optimistic, thinking, wow, that's it, I nailed it. This guy will never dare to go to the beach. But after so many years, Nara Iti Gam Zakanti, as you can see. And bad habits die hard. Once a person has a bad habit, it's very hard to change it. Even if it's a disaster, you show him that it destroys his life. I think you can do about it. All of us has it, some more, some less. Either what you eat, or what you smoke, or the time you wake up in the morning, or your pride, or your anger. There's one thing that may ruin your life. Loyalty, and gratefulness, you know, it's all kinds of things. Getting rid of that bad habit is one of the main things in the purpose of life. <laughs>